Well, actually, the river closed on us, so that really kind of made it obvious what we should do. So we have basically been trying to create a lot of space. Um, we've got a lot of bottom cages coming. Uh, that's typically how we were going to hold our oysters. They're the most efficient for space in terms of holding on leases. And we are going to get about two truckloads of those and trying to find space for that is next to impossible. But so we are going to take this pile of gear and move it into my front lawn. Just kind of getting rid of all this shit. Hopefully you'll see it's gone pretty soon. This stuff right here is all of our four millimeter bags. And this is what our first million seed of the year will go into. It's gonna be six mil, so we'll put it into these four mil bags. And it looks like from that stack to this, that's what it's gonna to take to hold a million oysters at six millimeter but it's ready to go and that'll be it i saw a picture of us in crop tops with their stomachs so as you can see we have awesome neighbors and we're actually zoned farming so they kind of well try and be good neighbors And also, I made some finishing touches to the boat. Layer by layer, I didn't know narrowness in my childhood. Mini crane. Need a lighter. I got so much weight in this wood. I accidentally got too big a wood. Throw in a couple of cleats. Yep, thank you. And just make sure. I know it's not good to dry starter. But starting every time and she should be ready to go tomorrow is all secured except for one chunk which I have to build on the water because of the way the current boat is sitting on a lift um, I just can't build it so we're gonna attempt to put that in the water tomorrow that bad boy lifted Today is the day Let's see if this bad fucker will go so I'm gonna have probably I'm gonna actually have everybody either standing on this yeah, and maybe one person standing next to the crane and just kind of to lift that back up. Phil, do you think it's going to make it? Yes. Creighton? I'm going to say yes, but I'm very nervous. Oh. Slow and steady. <laughs> mile. Two mile long mile of cars. Made it through the difficult part. Now we'll actually see if she floats. Two. Got a little rumbling on this engine. We're gonna see what that's all about. See, she's going in reverse. So it could just be it's this thing hasn't been run in four years, dude. It came on the back of that shed, so it's probably busting off some barnacles. Yeah. Hallelujah. She is in and ready to start scuttling. Very simple boat. Not a lot of moving parts. It's basically just a forklift 
picks up stuff, puts it down. But we've got some considerable space on her now. So, very excited to put her to use. That's pretty much it. I'm so excited to see if this boat goes in, because if it is, that's gonna be the second or the third boat. And, well, second. And it's gonna look exactly like that. I am stupid enough to get that tattooed on my body, but that boat design really does mean something to me. And uh, I'm also stupid enough to get a bunch of other tattoos. But that's another story. Today.